Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. I understand you for thousands of Need a drink. I got the jitters again. God damn it. You can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. Hey, I think those vices are on the other side. How long is this going to take? Three minutes. In the Lord. The Lord. He's good looking for a policeman. Right through the red light. That you never saw it. They weren't even his friends, and he still confessed. Parker and Green are going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know who'll get swept up in a thing like that. Eleven K responding. Go ahead with the further. Eleven K, see the security guard and apprehended suspect to be taken into custody from the Southern California Auto Club, sixty-two zero one Santa Monica Boulevard. Eleven K, handle code two. Detective Phelps, LAPD. What's going on here? This joker was trying to tail one of our patrons inside. I'm a reporter, you idiot! I'm doing a feature for the examiner, and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? The parking lot. His is the blue Talbot. Say, how about an exclusive when you bring him back? Shove off. You won't be filing your story today. I'll check this out. A red, huh? Sneaky bastard. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this.
LAPD, sir. Can I have a word? Well, that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. He's not getting away that easily. We need to get closer. Try for the tires. Keep your foot down. where I can see them. This is harassment. Understand? My politics are nobody's goddamn business but my own. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree, we've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. I must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. Take a look around, Phelps. Looks like a straightforward execution to me. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again.
well-maintained custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Never the same, are they? What's that click? Neat trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. He kept his stash close at hand. We should follow up on the musician angle. source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? dozen packs to a carton, a hundred cartons or more, looks like a couple of months' supply. These look brand new, never fired, they haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. You'll have my report when it's ready. Right now, you want to be examining evidence. Just when I think I've seen it all. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes, just like the others. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? 
Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. So what next? Back to the station. We need to speak to someone on the robbery detail. Captain wants this one cleared up quick. Let me know how it goes with the dope. Good luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city... Try to crack the safe. Never the same, are they? How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off.
Does the chicken come with fried tomatoes? Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the Stonefurter? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you, he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. But... Words are just words, Corfabs. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner.
We've been at risk losing the trail. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. Top of my class, back east. And now I'm waiting tables. Would you recommend the special, miss? LAPD, we have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine, just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman, too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment? Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. 
Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Hey, what's going on? That fucking rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robber detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. I'm gonna get good and tight come Friday. Harry, you, think this too you got a minute? Sure, Cole, anytime. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? This guy gave his wife a tap. I'd say all's fair in love and war. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. This guy gave his wife a tap. I said all's fair in love and war. You think those vice boys get any on the side? You think those vice boys get any on the side? You think those vice boys get any on the side? I need a drink. Enough to arm three I got companies. The again. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down on my sap. I need a drink. I got the jitters again. The mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. The case was thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. That bum took a swipe at me, so I put him down with my sap. The mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. The case was thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. You think the vice boys get any on the side? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. You think those vice boys get any on the side? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop what now? on one round. Do you think this lipstick's too light for my complexion? I'm going to get good and tight come Friday.
I'm going to get good and tight come Friday. I want to make homicide. You know you make it. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. This is the crate we recovered. That bum took a swipe at me. Half a million cigarettes loose on the streets of L.A. You think the vice boys Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! Parker or Green? I don't know who these were. I want to make a I know you make a point with that gas. I'm going to get good in the heart from Fred. Now! 